The facility, founded by the National Film Unit and rescued by Peter Jackson, had been operating at the director's Park Road Post facility. Jose Barbosa went there to find out why the lab is closing and to hear the good news about what happens next. Hello there, I'm at the luxurious Park Road Post in Miramar, Wellington. And all these people here have been invited to mark the closure of the film laboratory. But before we get started, there's something I really have to put straight. Film is not dead. Seriously, I'm not just saying that. All these recent big-ass Hollywood movies were shot on film. Auckland-based candle-lit pictures make it a habit to use film for their shorts and music videos. I really love the process of shooting on film. You know, it's a lot more precise and exact, and there's quite a craftsmanship to shooting on film. If we're going to shoot a project on film, a better crew emerges for the same amount of money because they have a, they, they have a, a, a real respect for the, for the medium. So why then, if film still has legs, has New Zealand's last film lab closed down? We asked the head of the lab, Brian Scadden. It's not so much the digital, the capture on film, it's more the digital exhibition that has killed things. It's a lot easier to send a little DCP around. Uh, so, um, so why would you go to the expense of having to ship you know, these, these vast uh, quantities of film around the world? It's a tragedy worse than the burning of Rome, almost, and in, in, from an historical perspective, at least. This month, these machines will be turned off. A lab that had its beginnings decades ago in the National Film Unit will be no more. And that will have implications for the dozen or so staff who work there. Everyone could see that the amount of work that was coming through was just getting less and less. So really, we all knew that the axe was hanging over us. We gave the staff like two and a half, three months notice that, that the lab was going to close. Deluxe in Australia has recently closed. They gave the industry and the staff 10 days notice. So it was like, that was it, out the door, gone. Technology has just um, conspired to uh, make us outmoded, basically. This is Hugh McDonald. He's best known as the director of This Is New Zealand, a cutting edge documentary made in 1970 for the Osaka World Expo. A devotee of film, Hugh nonetheless admits digital has its advantages. The difference really between film and digital is the immediacy of digital and um, it's less expensive to operate too. The quick turnaround means you can avoid situations like this one on the last Lord of the Rings film. We went and looked at the stuff and it was the most dispiriting thing because the majority of it was out of focus. So we had to redo it. <laughs> <laughs> Park Road's lab closing will really mean that it's almost impossible to shoot film in New Zealand. You would have to go to Thailand or to Japan. It'll become a really specialized thing that you'd only see um, on, on one or two projects a year. Motion picture film must be handled with care to protect it from damage. You see what I mean? And this is a key point. Transferring old film to newer polyester stock is the preferred archiving method. It's claimed the new film will last 200 years. No one's really sure how long digital storage lasts. So by all accounts, not a happy time for film lovers in New Zealand. But salvation was the fly in the window wearing a snappy blue tie. What we've agreed to do is to transfer uh, a um, quite a substantial proportion of the equipment in the lab uh, to Archives New Zealand. And we'll be using those to preserve uh, over a thousand films that we hold, from the, uh, mainly from the National Film Unit. It's a silver lining to what is otherwise an end of an era for film processing in New Zealand. Although at least a handful of people will still be without a job, even with the intervention of Archives New Zealand. Daylight is so complex. It's got it's got so so many tonal variations and so much color information. And when you shoot on film, that light passes through the lens and burns the celluloid, the emulsion in the film, basically putting a footprint, an imprint of itself, a fingerprint on that celluloid. And essentially, you're you're connected to the actors or whatever was in front of the lens because. It's almost the same thing, it's almost the same light. You really can feel the fingerprint. 
what would you rather look at? You know, the, the fingerprint of light, it, it, you know, the, the burn that it left on, on a film, or a collection of tiny little dots, each with a color value. I think it's an obvious choice. There's something holy about it. <laughs>